In this tutorial, I want to introduce you to jQuery's getJSON function, which is a utility that essentially allows you to take a JSON formatted results, like the ones I have from Facebook over here, and bring them into your uh, web page or application, and um, well, from there, really the sky's the limit, really whatever you want to do to that data, you can do. Now, first thing to note is that you should be familiar with developing query strings for JSON API endpoints. Now, that sounds pretty complicated, but at least with regards to polling Facebook for uh, a particular, uh, a JSON polling Facebook for JSON data on a specific page, it's really nothing more than uh, using this URL, graph.facebook.com forward slash the page name that you want. And uh, I'm choosing zombies for mine. And the second thing uh, you'll probably need to know is that the results we're getting back are formatted in the same way uh, that we would format an associative array if we were to create an associative array in our JavaScript. And um, that parallel is really easy because that already defines how we could access the elements within this array. So let's get right to getJSON. Now I have a page basic HTML page ready uh, uh, with jQuery with uh, yeah jQuery attached and I'm going to start my get JSON function and it starts of course with a dollar sign period and then get JSON and the first thing I'm going to put in there is the actual URL of the data results now I'll start with my single quotes and the URL I'm going to use is this guy the graph or uh, maybe I should note it's HTTPS dot colon forward slash graph dot facebook dot com dot forward slash zombies now don't just write this these URLs in your directly into your code first pop them into your browser and make sure they actually get results because you don't want to start with a questionable query string from the beginning because then you don't know if it's your code or the query that's uh, the problem so there we go I have that that URL that's gonna bring in this text and the next thing is, well, what am I going to do with it? So I have to put a function here. So what I'm going to do is function, and then within that function, I need to define, uh, I need to give a name to this data set that I'm getting. And I'm just going to name it FB results. So you name it whatever you want, and then you start with the curly brace, and then we'll terminate this. I like to terminate my braces as soon as I open them so I don't get confused later. Um, now from here, Basically, I'm going to have this data in my app already, and now what am I going to want to do with it? Well, just for the, for the sake of brevity and uh, simplicity of this um, tutorial, I'm going to use document write to write one of the values of that associative array into my page. So in order to do that, I start with FB results. I put a period, and now I'm going to actually have to say what key value I want from there and my key values are all listed right here so I could just do FB results dot why don't we just do name and then what I should get from that is zombies written on the page pretty simple now from here as I mentioned before the sky's the limit because we could do all sorts of things I mean here's a link to a picture so if we were to actually template that picture um, by templating I mean add HTML to these strings we could have the image appear in our results we could um, basically what what we start with is just a very ba basic content we could wrap some HTML around it to give it some semantic value and turn it into pictures and links and that kind of stuff and then ultimately you know we apply some CSS to it to style it any which way uh, that's appropriate for our specific implementation 